This is Imperial Struggle, the board game. We are using Tabletop Simulator and having a little game walkthrough. Join us on Legendary Tactics. Yeah, so they have made some very good uh, automation kind of set decisions for this. Yeah, there's better so, upgrades in this one, eh? So check this out. I click on Setup Game. Yep. And it automatically sets out all the war tiles are already there. Oh my gosh! Excellent. Um, all the uh, your your I think your cards may even be dealt, but um, but basically everything's set up. We got a, like a lot of the stuff is already automated. So like if you see the sequence of play. Yep. Then you can you just click on the, the the next part of it, so we don't have to worry about the deck phase. So we'll worry about the award phase. So watch on the board. So all the awards are distributed. Oh my gosh, handy. Yeah. Then okay, so it just does all the housekeeping. Glo global demand. Click on that. Boom. Now check the bottom of the board. Yep. So you see right here. So oh. cotton, sugar, and furs are the ones that are in demand this turn. Okay. So you oh, see the wow. automation is brilliant. It's, it's just really, really sharp. Really yeah. Does it then, track uh, too? Does tabletop track uh, the uh, the 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 debt, or we have to probably do that manually? Well, if you go, if you look at the debt, do you see where it says like add plus four debt plus three debt? Oh, you just actually so you, just, you just click on there. You want some treaty points? Just click on plus three treaty points or whatever for or your minus. side. Oh my gosh! Okay, it's really, really, it's really well done. Excellent. So we'll just yeah. do the. So now we've done the um, global demand already. That was fast. Now we do yeah. the reset uh, phase, which doesn't really matter this turn, and deal cards. So now you've got your three cards. Okay. Now where will I find my cards? Should they be in my box? And to deal the inv the investment tiles are already dealt. So if you want to look at the available investment tiles, you can see which ones are available. Okay, where, where where were those? Oh, there, there at the front. Yes, yes, I yes. see those. Okay. So there's the tiles. So the way you play them is you grab it and put it on like French premier, or I put on French British first. Oh, I see. You see yes. So you just drag the tile over. You say, okay, this is my first tile. Okay. Yep. 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 And so it's just such a smooth, smooth. Uh, now, did you get cards really in good. your card box here, Nate? Yes. Oh, I did oh, not did get you? cards. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Um, that's no, no I did not. Can go to. Uh, I thought that part was going to be uh, it was going to be done. So uh, you are blue. Yeah. So you oh, have there three. There they go. Yeah, I have three now. Yep. Okay. Oh, and um, let's make sure we get the turn the turns in order here. So so the yep. And then so now that we've seen our three. Cards. Now you choose your two ministry cards. Based, you know, you can take a look at your events. And the ministry cards are the big mitt of cards over in the left, right, or in your in right. Box. In the box. In the giant in the, blue. In the box, big box, right? And, and do yeah. you have like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen cards in there? Uh, like yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now just remember that there's a little along the the left hand side. There's the little. So we're in the uh, succession era. Yeah. So you ca you you can play kind of cards along the top basically, but keep an eye out along the uh, the side. There may be a. So I'm playing how many of these cards? You choose Three? two. Oh, two. You choose okay. two, and you you move them to your uh, player card face down. Okay. Just check out this one here real quick. Yeah, so I'm still working out the best uh, strategy for the ministry cards and everything. There's mm -hmm. there's some really good ones for the 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 British here. Some really good ones. I guess you got to look at your event cards too and see which ones are. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's pretty much obvious. <laughs> oh, nice. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. All right. So, so we just make sure that it's flipped over. Yeah. Face down and bring it over to my. Um. 
And the second one you said. Yeah. So they go on your player card, um, which is just above, or just to, to the, yours is just to the left of the board. Okay. Now, um, don't forget, you can, I don't know if I, All right, I got my two cards. Now, I once we're in there, if, if there's a way to see the war tiles, because we're supposed to be able to see the war tiles as well. Because um, oh, right. remember, yes. we do, we do a peace turn, and then there's the War of Spanish Succession. That's right. So, um, I'm not sure how you can view. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. It didn't uh, distribute the war tiles. Let me try that again. It should have done that. So your current debt, is your current debt at zero? We're both at zero, aren't we? What's that? Sorry? Our current debt is both at the, zero. The debt's at zero. I know that's compared to the last game we played <laughs> for yeah. the channel. I know that's a weird feeling. It is a very <laughs> weird feeling. <laughs> yes. You were you were spending money like a left, right, and center. <laughs> yes. That was so funny. Oh. Um, okay. So um, what I was gonna say was, um, yeah, we'll just have to d to draw the the. Oh, those are bonus war tiles. Okay, that's weird. It it. Uh, I was just trying to see what the war tiles were, and it, it didn't show me when I flipped them, so. Oh, okay. And I thought we were, we should There's be There's the British war tiles those. and the French over here, these two. Yeah, but those are the bonus war tiles, right? Those oh, are the okay. ones that are the, the, the bonus. Okay. Um, so I don't know. We'll just maybe have to say the war is a bit vague for now until we figure out how that's, uh, how that's going. Um, so yeah, yeah. Anyway, maybe they maybe they'll reveal themselves. So, okay. So we've got our ministry cards um, decided. So you decide who goes first, or, uh, as the French as, as the French player. Okay. And um, then we go to. I will let you go first. All right. Interesting. All right. So. Oh, here's the here's my basic war tiles, Nate. It's on my mat, my French mat. Oh, is it? Yeah, you'll have yours on your English mat. Right over here. Yeah. Right where you, there you are. Yeah, but I was just. Uh, oh, maybe they just. Uh, okay, maybe we sh we should uh, deal those out then onto the. I thought it was going to deal them out on. Where that, do we put uh, them? So just on the first uh, war. Okay, if you hover your mouse hover your mouse over, you can actually tell which ones they are. Like it'll it'll tell you don't have to flip them to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you. Oh. Whoops. That's interesting. Okay. Did it just put so them that, somewhere? Yeah, it just it just uh, kind of dumped them on the. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> what you do is is I guess you drop it on the, uh, on the circle and it will kind of suck it up, <laughs> and you can find it. Oh, okay. So how many do I bring over there? Just one, one. Just drop one in the uh, in each of the four. So you got uh, okay. Central Europe, King George's War, First Carnatic. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong war. Sorry, yeah, it's War of Spanish Succession. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. So actually, sorry, I think no. You know what? Put those back where where they came from because there's okay. already a war tile. I didn't. I I see how it's doing it now. So if you go to search in the, like you right click and press search in yep. the in the thing, um, then it, it you can see what your war tile is. Oh, okay. So it, it'll tell you what it is. It's It should be in there. Do you see it there? I have two in there now. 
Okay, so you got to pull one of those out. Okay, I'll just pull the second uh, one out. I'll put it back in there. Yeah. Yeah. So. So it's good to know how this is uh, how this is working. So then just yeah. drop it back on your basic war tiles and okay. it should yep. suck it back in. So yep. anyway, so that, that, that makes sense now. I was like, huh, I don't see them anywhere. And I was flipping the, yeah, the yeah. token and I'm like, what the heck? Where are they? Right. And now I see what it's I <laughs> now I see what it's up to. So okay, so I'm I'm the first one up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to I'm going to flip over Jonathan Swift for the style. So spaces in in Eng Ireland and Scotland cost one less to flag. Oh, okay. And if I control any spaces in Ireland, your minor diplomatic actions may be used to remove uh, French flags in Europe. So remember, normally minor actions cannot be used to, um, to unflag. Right. Right? So, yeah. all right. And... So I'm going to choose, huh, all right. Hmm, it's a tough one. So I'm going to choose uh, two diplomatic points and I'm going to play an event. So we'll just play the event okay. cards here. So I have Vatican politics. Oh, yes. The bonus is style. So I get two diplomatic points that must be spent in the German states, Prussia, or the Dutch Republic. I actually brought that and card up in my uh, review of the, Span the, Se the Spanish succession. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so what yeah was, there, what was, was um, there? there was great heat and great pressure on the Vatican to elect uh, a, uh, a, a pope from uh, that would be supportive of the... Oh of the crown so that's interesting that it's ah, uh, it comes up as our first card yeah <laughs> all right so i have to spend in german states prussia or the dutch republic um so i'm going to so th basically you grab your flags from the center so okay you see the yep. they're double sided so you can press f to flip them okay if you need to and i have to play so i'm going to play two in um Denmark, Norway, and uh, I get two more that must be spent in German states, Prussia, or the Dutch Republic. So I'm going to uh, play in Prussia, and I'm going to get take the advantage tile. Oh yes, the Baltic trade one, which I really like. And uh, let's see. Uh, so that's that. And I also, I think I get one. You I get my bonus one that has to be used in Europe. Uh, Jonathan Swift lets me. Okay. So I'm going to control in. Ireland, and I'll take on two debt to do that. So plus two debt. Okay. Yeah, that's so smooth. You just click on plus two debt, and it just goes whoop, right there. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I just, okay. just clicked on too much debt. And uh, da, da, da. so that's uh, that's that event card, and I get two military points. So this card here oh there we are two mili military points which i'm going to i think i'll take a bonus war tile and i'm gonna put it oh we want the war of spanish succession right it's the first one yes correct do i have to play a card or not i don't have to play one right away do i Actually, maybe instead of a bonus war tile. Sorry, well, uh, you don't have to play. No, you don't have to play an event card right away if no. you don't want to. Okay. Huh. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'm going to take a bonus war tile. Queen Anne's War. Okay. Okay, let's and see what here. Up. 
so to place, uh, what does it take to get you out of Ireland if I don't want you in there? Uh, or so any that state? Is, that's three. Yep. So it, it would cost three to unflag me. And then if you wanted to uh, to get in there yourself, you'd have to spend another three. So it would cost a total of six. Yes. Is that the pen? Is that diplomacy, the pen? That's diplomacy, yeah. And it has to be, if you're unflagging me, you need to use a major action in order to do so. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. yeah, that's kind of rich. Uh, yeah. <laughs> dug your heels in there nicely. I will. Yeah, there's. <clears throat> it's what I call placement momentum, where it's like Twilight Struggle. Like sometimes... When you take a space, it just takes too much effort to for the other side to to flip. Take it back. So there's an advantage to going first in a spot. All right, I will play the pen, uh, the diplomacy for two, and I will play into. Um, so just drag the so go to the middle and oh, drag right. the yes the flag up, and I'll drop it into Scotland. Scotland. The alliance space, okay? So remember, alliance spaces help you in wars. Prestige spaces give you victory points. Right, yes, During yes, scoring. yes. Okay. So that's And that. uh, so I also have the money. I have the doubloons there. Yeah. Oh, and uh, for the... Yeah, and I forgot to do this on my side, on my turn, but you you can... you With that cross, you can play an event, and also with this, the, the two circles, you can exchange one of your basic war tiles for a different one oh like. right 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 okay so and you get two market points there so all right so i can play an event and now that we know how to check <laughs> yeah do i have to play the event right away i do don't i yeah you're, you're supposed to actually play it before you um you take the action because some of the the actions depend on control so you can't like Play into Scotland and then play a card that gives you a bonus because you own Scotland. Like so, they they time it so that you choose the tile, then you play the event card, and then you take the points. But I since it's our first game in a while, if you wanted to reorder that, that's fine. Yeah, I actually might reorder that just just um, because of yeah, I, f I had uh, forgotten that that yeah. was. Yep. So, so we'll I'll just, just uh, drop it's not it much of a redo center. here. Yep. Sure. Um, I will do this one here. Ooh, big. So you don't get an event. Nope. But you get four. Yeah. And I will unflag you in oh, okay. Ireland. Okay. And I'll spend actually two, uh, two of my own credits to flip this to yep. French rule. <laughs> nice. Yes. So, so just go to your debt track, and mm -hmm. just click on plus two debt. So, which one is mine? The white or the, or the or the red? Mean? Oh, there, increase. Yeah, you're over. Yeah, everything is on your your side. It's on the on the real game. Like the we played the vassal module last time. Oh, it's channel. all. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, here it's okay. divided up. It's actually almost a better setup in many ways. But yeah. I, like maybe just maybe it's just for the online version. It is so. So you also get two economic points. Yeah. Now, how can I? What's what's some options to spend on those? Uh, so any markets. So which are the circular ones with the good at, at, at in the corner or in the? Oh, the side? okay. Now they have to be, con you know, connected. You have to you have to be connected, and you know if they're protected, then there's an additional cost and that sort of thing. Like if there's a navy. Right next door, it costs more to flip it. Um, so I can flip into West Bengal, for example, in the cotton market. Yep, you can. Okay, well, I will take the I will take that market. Okay. And that gives you the advantage tile. You see the uh, silk. So oh right. Silk. So that goes into my box. It goes into their box, and you can use. Uh, no, not in the box. Actually, on your player card. Oh, player card. Okay. On the player mat. Yeah. At an advantage tiles, so you can, you can use the any two advantage tiles per like round. Okay. Um, but they have to be in different uh, regions. Ah, uh, yes, so correct. Okay. 
So, okay, I think that's your turn. That's my turn, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to choose economics. Um, I'm going to go into, whoops, go into there and I'll, um, Huh. Okay, I'm going to take on one additional debt. Okay. And I'm going to um, get into the uh, Albany here. <clears throat> and I'm going to use my advantage tile. Okay. Um, I don't know how to... I guess you just draw, drag and drop an exhausted marker on top of the tiles as they're used up. So I'm going to reduce my debt by two. Okay. And uh, what was the other part of my tile there? Oh, two diplomatic points. Um, I'm going to use those in... Hmm. I'll use those in uh, Sardinia, I think. Uh, Jeez, that's a tough call. Um. So many choices. It's oh yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's so crazy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go into Scotland because that actually benefits me with my Swift. Okay. Card makes you very easy to unflag in. Uh... All right, let's um, let's drop this card. You're done your turn, right? Uh, yes, I'm done. So I'm going to play my this event card here. The Jacob. Oh, you have to choose choose a tile first. So you have to choose a tile with a cross. Oh, okay. And it'll have to have a bomb on it. A holy hand grenade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. There, oh, yeah, there is this one here. Yeah, that's where you, where you have to be careful. No, right. it, it has to be your major action. Are you sure? Because it says I can yes. use in this event, though, with my event. No, but if it has a symbol at the top, the, the top corner... Uh, then that has to be your major action. So. Oh, I be, see. So yes. Um, oh no, no. There's no requirement for that. That's your. No, there that's isn't. Your, uh, that's your ministry card. Yeah, ministry card. Yeah, that's so what that's I meant. So that's not an event card. That that just goes in your ministry card. See where on your player mat over here. Yep. Oh, ministry yeah. card one. Okay, sorry, ministry yeah, card. So put put your other one there as well. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Face like just flip it over. Flip it over. Yeah. Like you, you can, yeah. You don't have to reveal it right now because if you if you don't reveal it, if you start turn two, you can exchange it for a different one. Ah, uh, I see. Yes, yes, correct. Okay. So, all so right. this one's so active. Up. Yep. So once per turn, you may use military points to shift spaces in Scotland and or Ireland. Uh, once yeah. per turn, on a different action round, you may spend three. Uh, Military points to score one VP for each French flagged such space and the Jacobite victory marker, which happens during the, the war phase. So um, right. immediately remove this card from the game after British play of the papacy, Hanover negotiations, ministry card, or after Jacobites defeated war result. So that's interesting. Okay. So now, so yes, you, you're, you don't need, that's not an event card. That's a ministry card, which you can flip up you know, at any time. So, okay. So now if you take military points, yes, you can use them to, to flip, um, to unseat you there in Scotland. Yes. All right. Um, okay. So 
so you can <clears throat> use those military points but remember you can um you can with a major action you can split them up in many different ways oh right? and i will yeah. play this i will play this uh, event card oh wait i can't play with you that you can't you can't yeah okay. sorry i'm gonna have to change that play then a little bit here okay <laughs> that's the I, thing you're trying to get everything like to line no, up then, then you can't use the military points to unflag me just so you know because you, oh, you no? can only unflag with with major actions oh you can okay. you can flag like you can you can or whatever you if you have a diplomatic minor action then you can flag an empty space but you can't unflag someone which is what i know you're looking to do that's right yes 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 hmm well that okay i will yeah. not play a car i will actually oh but i only have three <laughs> Oh. This is these are the these are the decisions, especially in the early game. You're like, oh my gosh, got to get out there and make yeah. stuff happen. Well, let's play this. I will I will play the event. I'm gonna not. Uh, so you need I'll, to take. I, I won't worry about Scotland right now. Okay, but you need to take an economic yes. major event. Major so event. Yes, yeah, so I'll take no, this no, no, one no. here. No, no, major event. Major event. Oh. So it has to be this one right here. It's oh, but doesn't it have to have? Um, it has to have the bomb on it. No, it ha see how it has the, the money at the top left? Oh, right, right, so right, right. So that card okay. requires a cross and so it's that one there. economic. Yeah, that's okay. perfect. Yes. So now you can play the event card. Yes. Which is a famine in uh, Ireland. So my so bonus is really the bottom half here. Draw one bonus war tile for, for each, each space you control in Ireland and add them to the Jacob Jacobite Uprising Theater in the next war. Ooh, that's a big Yeah. That's a big yeah. so, so you go I up to the throw. go up to the war uh, page here. Yeah, and, and I'll just and draw drop. two into the Jacobites, yep. right? And just drop them right into the, the tile here. Yep. And just let them go. Jeez, that's gonna be a tough one to win now. <laughs> yeah, that's that wow. was my plan to Yeah. <laughs> that's big. Do a little power play on that one and then yes. uh so now my actual card, I get three, three uh, dollars to spend on the colonies. On the mar, yeah, on the markets. On the markets here, so. So where are you? So this is, this is one of the things that you'll notice about Imperial Struggle is it's a it's a total sandbox. Like, oh yeah, there it's... is, there is just so much going on. <laughs> Yeah, there is a fair bit to. Oh, yeah. I'm just looking at oh bonus actually, tiles there too. should be there should be the Spanish flags on these territories. By the way, it's like just you have to unflag the span the Spaniards from there. Can I use Can markets. I use um. Can I use the uh, the money to unflag as well? So if I wanted to unflag you in uh, the cotton in. Uh, yep. Yep. So I can spend as long as it's part the... of the major action, then yeah, you can unflag. Okay, so I will uh, unflag you there. And then if you spend three, then you can flag. Oh, sorry, that goes away then, yes. Correct. Yeah, so either unflag me or, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Can I unflag you somewhere else? Uh, if you spend the, the, the debt, because you, you had three economic points, which you just spent. Yeah. So, but I have this. I have this uh, ability card here. This advantage tile. Uh, it says minus one to unflag. In India, yes. So, in you, India. so, so if you use that tile, you don't have yep. to drag it. Like, just put an exhausted marker on it. Oh, I see. Okay, and I will unflag you in India here. But that costs you one less than it normally would. Well, it's one, so it's zero. Now, those are territories. Those are not markets. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So the so market. What was that? The I have this uh, spice market here, which you get. Which is yes, it would only cost one to unflag. Right, uh, spice doesn't interest me right now. Yeah. Uh, so maybe I'll spend one of those three that I did on flagging you, and I'll just save that one to to uh, use somewhere else. Okay. Uh, and then I'll just go into another. Now remember, little... if you play into a different region, it costs you an extra uh, point, like an oh, extra okay. thing. So All I right. played both. I played in both into markets in North America. Um, so I didn't have to spend an extra point to play into two separate regions. So, you, you know, if you play, you, you've played into India. So if you, if you, you know, play again into India or whatever, then. So I could go into, um, I could go over here. 
I could put something into this one, yep. eh? Yeah. Okay. But you'd, you'd have to spend one extra, because I think you spent the three. I have, have to spend two, one sorry, extra bet. Sorry, you spent two to unflag me. Right? Yes. So that's fine. Uh, then you have one left. So if you want to play into um, to Richapali or wherever, then you need to sp take on a debt to do it. Okay. You know what? Maybe I will. Um, I'm sorry. I think I'm going to just keep this. Uh, I won't use my exhausted tile just yet. I'll just okay. use the three. I'll just use the three to sure. unflag you in India. I think that's sure. what I'm going to do. And okay. uh, we'll leave it at that. And then I have. Uh, what was the other action here? It was. Uh, military. Military. So I can unseat you in Europe? Uh, no, you can't unflag me in a, with a minor action. All right. Oh, I can actually add to the war tiles then. You can buy... Well, yeah. If, actually, if you look at your player mat, so do you see where your player mat... That gives you the stuff you can do. So the the military one is the, the hexagons. Oh, okay. You see, so the you six, can either six here. you can spend two, uh, yeah, two on a bonus war tile. You can build a new ship for four. You can deploy a squadron for one, two, or three, depending on the situation. Uh, you can repair a, a fort, or you know, buy a fort, or remove a conflict marker, or whatever. I think I'll buy a basic war tile. Or you don't buy, you buy a bonus war tile. Oh, it's a born a bonus one. Sorry. Yeah. So go up to the bonus one and then drop it in the. Into any war I want? Yep. I should take a look here at what I've got. It's going to be helpful yeah. to know. So right-click and search, and that'll tell you what you got. Okay. Yes, yes, okay, good. That's excellent. Jeez. Yeah. There really isn't a lot of stuff to... All right, I'm going to throw it into Queen Anne's War. Okay. All right. Good. That's my turn. I got a. I should have a basic war tile in here. I don't know how that happened. I've, I'm missing a basic war tile in the one conflict here, so let me just drop her in. Huh? Yeah. There's never enough ops in this game. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It it's really, true. really isn't. Um, oh, I think I may have ma uh, made a mistake on the... I think I could have flagged in Scotland for a lot cheaper. Anywho... Um, do here. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Um I'm going to take this war tile and I'm going to go into the uh, German states. And I'm going to, so that's where I spend two of the three and I'm going to take on a debt, uh, maybe two debt, let's see here. Oh, I actually just need one debt to flag in the prestige space in Scotland. I love how the French have all the influence in Ireland. <laughs> you like yeah. absolute, absolutely <laughs> yeah. control. Yeah. Uh, so I need oh to... boy, the Jacobites will be happy with me. Yes, they will. They, love you. <laughs> they want the phony English out of there. <laughs> yeah. for that one. And Jeez. Huh, okay. Uh 
Yeah, maybe I need a bo another bonus war tile. Uh, where am I going to go? Into Spain, I think. Okay. All right. I'm I'm done. So if I take the uh there's only oh there's two events left with uh with yes. the event cards. Yes. However, if I take one whatever event I take, I have to have that symbol on the top of my card. Uh it depends on the card. Some cards don't have any requirements. But like if you look at the the one that you just played the uh famine in Ireland, it had an economic so it had to be an economic major action that you took. Okay. Some of them don't have any requirements. You just need the cross. I see. Okay. But if there's a symbol in the top left, you have to match that symbol with the major Correct. major action. With the major okay. action, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to play... Uh, this one here. Okay. Okay. So I can unflag for four. Uh, no, hang on. That's a military, though. Sorry, military. Yes. So if you go again, if you get stuck, just go over to your player mat, and you can see what you can spend it on. Right. So bonus war tile, construct a squadron, uh, deploy a squadron, construct a fort, repair or seize a damaged fort, or remove a conflict. Marker. So I could I could buy two bonus war tiles with that four, right? You could. I think it will. Oh, one up into Spain <laughs> and one into Central Europe. Jeez. Okay, and then uh, for two influence, yeah, two will. diplomatic. Um, I will go into. Um, Niagara here. Oh, that's that's market. That's economic. You need a uh, diamond. Oh, the spaces. diamond shaped. <clears throat> yeah. Do they have to be attached? Uh, nope. Diamond spaces, you do not need any continuity. Oh, all. okay. Yeah. Well, then, I'll just take... Uh, take. Where are those? There they are. I'm going to take the buccaneer, the privateers. Oh, nice. All right. Place a conflict marker. And in. I get that. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. All right. Uh, so uh, I have to take this one, I guess. So I'm going to play an event. The Great Northern War. <clears throat> Um, oh, yes. So shift a political space in the German states. If both are, are now British flagged, score two victory points. Oh, well done. So I figured that would be worth. Yeah, uh, that's a good where's score. The, where's the victory point tracker here again? Uh, is it up top uh, here to the left? No, I don't think so. That's for debts and. Oh, okay. Uh, well, Across the bottom notes is VPs. Yeah. Oh, it's just, sorry, it's on the main board. <laughs> sorry. Right? This is. There it is. I forgot about this track because we don't use it all that much. Yeah. So, okay, so two victory points. I also get a, a bonus diplomatic point in uh, Europe. So I'm going to. I will, I will uh, take on a debt, and I'm going to use that diplomatic point to flag the the Dutch spot there. Okay, so that's my card done. And three military points, which I'm going to use to... Um, I think I'll take on an extra debt, and I'm gonna grab that giant fort, Champlain Valley or whatever in um, North 
America. Hit that. And then I get two diplomatic points again. And uh, I'm going to to jeez okay I'm gonna actually take control of this local gang the Motley crew the Motley crew in India <laughs> yeah. alright are you done? uh yes that is my okay my turn so I will play one here okay now remember if you're buying bonus war tiles you can't have more than two bonus war tiles in a theater just so you know oh okay so so you can't like pile in like three three tiles or whatever into or five tiles into one thing you can have a basic war tile and up to two bonus war tiles just so you okay. know that's what your plan is i'm just kind of letting... nope 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 thank you for that no no actually i'm going to use my event here because i have this um I have my uh, what's it called ministry card here, so I can use the uh, oh yes, that's right the military to shift spaces in Ireland or Scotland. So I'll use um, yeah I'll use three of those points to shift you out of both the Scotland spaces here. Okay. So, uh, well, these we'll are right. that's that that one's three and that one's two. So okay. That would cost you five. Okay. To do that. Uh, so two. So you'd have to take on a debt if you want to do both. Um, or are you going to... Uh, you know what? I'll just take you out of the, the green. Okay. Actually, no, it cost me one because I had four. So uh, it, cost me, it cost me one debt. Uh, you had four, so you spent three. Yes, it would cost you one debt to take me out of both. Okay. Um, but just just hold there for a second. I'm just going to yep. math it I'll out just, here. I'll put it back to the way it was, and then you. Oh, I don't think I can actually. I think Europe is yours. I don't think I can, without going into heavy debt. I'll have to seed Europe to... I will spend the th three to kick you out of there. I'll, I'll take the three out of there, yeah. I'll just do that. Okay. So and then... The, um, you still have one left. Yeah, one military left. Uh, can I put a French fleet somewhere in? Yep. That's actually a pretty good use of one point. So okay. you pick a, pick a naval space and you can drop them in. Um, and that and naval space is which which ones are those? The ones with the anchors. They're the the, the hexagons with the anchors. Oh, I see. Okay. And then remember, they protect the they 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 protect the markets that are na next door. Ah, okay. So they make it harder, more costly for them to be taken. Now um, let's drop it in here then. Yeah. That's a pretty good spot, actually. I'm gonna block that's... you out of trying to get my yes, my sugar. Yeah. Okay, and, it, and then and it I actually have... protects your it protects your sugar there as well, right? Yeah, that's so... what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will go into Antigua for my uh, Antigua. Yeah. So I'll take that one in Antigua. Okay. Yeah, that was smart. I think that may have gotten me the sugar market. Not totally I'm sure, but pretty sure it did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's turn's end. Yep. So <clears throat> let's see here. So discard the treaty, extra treaty points, resolve remaining powers. Uh, what was my my ministry card here? Which one was it? <laughs> I just want to make sure I've. Oh, actually, I don't know if I, I don't know if you'll let me do this, but the um, I should have played my ministry card. Uh, oh. on my last turn there. Yeah, go for it. That's fine. Is that okay? Because, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. I just... 
Uh, we're Otherwise, still in the learning game process here. Yeah, we're here. still in the learning. It's. I feel even though we've played a few games of this, I'm still learning. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So uh, where are we here? So we do the resolve remaining powers. If there's anything, so scoring. So score uh, the awards, the, the regional awards. So okay. for North America, I, I'm pretty sure I've it. got that there. So I get yep. one victory point. And I think I have the uh, Caribbean here. Yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. You've got seven. Yep. Yeah, so so okay. you get a victory point. So we we basically we net out that just cancels out, but you get a treaty point. Right. Uh, so Which could be used as uh, debt, right? It's a wild, yeah. So it's a it's a wild. Um, you can use it. It's a wild card, basically. So in India, um, I actually had four. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. oh, oh. You have six, sorry. Five, sorry. So you win that one. You get a treaty point for that. Okay. Are you t are you tracking that? Yep. If you look down on your board at the bottom there, you'll see you have two treaty points. Okay. And you get Europe, you beatard. Yes. <laughs> for three. Oh, now, three. Do, I, do I have at least a two margin, though? I need to be by at least two. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah, you six, do. seven, eight. So I've got, yes, so I get three victory points for that, which is pretty big. I didn't notice that red, too, because I would, I was, that's why yeah. that was debate. I was, ah, oh, well. Yeah. Is that, there's a lot to keep track of. Like, this is the thing. As you yeah. get more familiar with it, though, it's going to be, it's going to be more and more, you know. Um, intuitive. Intuitive, yeah. So there's just a lot to keep track of. All right. Um, and so that so that's that now the global um demand markets oh sorry prestige spaces who has more prestige spaces under control in europe uh, i think it's you one i've got one yeah you've got two i've got one so that's worth two victory points for you oh well, excellent yeah because you you did get me out of that uh, uh, prestige space so that helped you there yeah okay and then the uh global and i think you cleaned up on global uh demand here so uh, you definitely the have the, the cotton market for sure because you i i have the wipe, first two i think you have there. furs so you get two victory points and a treaty point for that okay uh so two victory points and a treaty point okay and uh you get sugar or sorry, yeah, sugar, which is just a straight two victory point. Okay. Uh, thing. So, just click on here. Okay. So it's you've turned the tide, but I get furs, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. So, I reverse that, and I get a treaty point, which will come in handy. Ah. All right. So that is um the uh, da, 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 da. yeah so no one won all the awards and all the global demand because if you win all the regional awards and the global demand then it's game over oh wow okay so, yeah um so now it's it's next turn um but i'm just wondering how this works here for the next turn Okay, so yeah, so we're now in the War of Spanish Succession. So go up to the war uh, uh, area here, War of Spanish Succession. Yep. Okay, and let's take a look at. Don't we uh, have a second? Uh, don't we have a second round before the war? No, no. This is there's. If you look on the turn track, so go yep. over here. You'll see game. There's peace turn one, then the war. Then, oh. then there's two peace turns. Then there's row. two peace turns. Oh, then okay. It goes, then it goes war, peace, war, peace, war, peace. It's back and forth, yes. Yeah, okay. So, like, so we do yeah, start with the war of Spanish succession. There's only one gap where we have two peace turns okay. in a row. So let's start with Europe. So draw out your war tiles here. And those watching, if you're interested, I have a whole video on the war of Spanish succession and why it was uh, important yeah. in this game. So check it's it out. Very, very the well link done. is below. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All, all right. right. So bring out all your tiles here. And flip them over. Oh, geez. All right. So you have uh, strength three. I have strength zero. Okay, but let's just yeah. 
uh, adjust. So Austria, we check the alliance spaces in Austria and we see that uh, I have, uh, do I? Yeah, I have the alliance, one alliance space in Austria. So that gives me uh, one, one. one point of strike. Bavaria, I'm pretty sure am I in Bavaria. Uh, no, you're in Bavaria. So that cancels out that strength. So we're at zero. So, so Denmark, three Norway. Three nothing. Denmark, Norway. Uh, I am there. So three one. Uh, three one. Dutch Republic, you are there. Dutch Republic. Uh, yes, I'm there. And I'm three, in German two. States. Three three and in Savoy. Both, both spaces there. So that's three for me. For those. So is that four three now for me? Did you have Savoy? Uh, I do not think I have Savoy. Savoy is kind of one of those ones that's... No, no one, none of us have Savoy. Okay. Okay, so um, I barely scratched out a win there. <laughs> okay. Um, now, so you have to take on a debt. So this is where this little thing down here, you see this little thing here goes. So yes. you, you gain a debt, okay? Okay. Um, but you, basically... Um, this tile uh you either damage a fort or um you remove a navy back to the navy box so mm. but i guess in uh da, 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 i get but it's in europe so i don't know if you could there's no forts in europe so okay i guess that doesn't have any effect so the, so the, it, it was supposed to be three three nate i don't know how you got an extra one because it was so, it was three to one, and then we so went to Dutch Austria, Republic. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. So Austria and Bavaria canceled out. I have Denmark, Norway, Dutch Republic. There's one alliance space. Yeah. Then German states has two alliance spaces. Oh, that's why. Okay, okay, that yeah, makes there's sense. There's no prestige yep. space in the German states, so I just edged you out there. Yes. Okay. Sorry, but, I didn't realize that. But again, the good thing is the re and you may be like, "Wow, I just wasted a bonus tile." But if you hadn't bought that bonus tile, I would have won by three, and then I get conquest points and all this so okay so, so the it was, winner uh, gets mitigating mitigating yes. damage so i get two victory points and you get a treaty point so that's handy to actually do that they have the uh all the stuff right there so you can uh, uh just do the adjustments right there so it's pretty cool. oh boy oh vendom that's healthy okay okay so you're at four to one uh, governance. Do you have a ministry card, which is a governance card? I don't think so. I no. do not. Okay. Four to one. Uh, Sardinia. I don't think either of us are in Sardinia. Spain. I'm in Spain. You are in Spain. So you get an additional one. Five and to squadrons, one. We don't have squadrons in, in play. So, you so I won by four plus points here. Yes. So you get one victory point. And, and two, conquest. two conquest points, and I get two treaty points. So let me see if I do this. So you get and what's the value of the points? conquest? One, one victory point. So the two conquest points, basically, um, go take, go down to uh, Europe here. Yep. So you can choose between Gibraltar, San Agustin, Asiento, and Menorca. And you can choose two of them and, and conquer them. Two of them? So you have the Gibraltar, Menorca... Asiento, which is actually in the Caribbean, and uh, San Augustin, which is also in the Caribbean. So you can choose two. Well, actually, you know what? It's kind of funny because that was Gibraltar and Menorca were both part of the uh, the treaty that ended Spanish succession. So I have to go into those. Oh, so okay. That. All right. So you get that <laughs> uh, advantage tile. That's actually a good one. You can spend a military point to kick a squadron out of town, which is pretty good. Excellent, nice. Now this is where I basically went all in on Queen Anne's War here. So okay, well I had a few too. Oh zero though, that's not good. Yeah. Now you have two damage forts though, because I've got forts in North America, so that'll be uh, you can damage my fort. Okay. Um, but yeah, I make you take on another debt. So so Oof. I'm up three, two, one in that area. So we subtract conflict markers. Now there's no conflict markers there. Yeah. Uh, we add one for forts. So I have a fort 
I think. Do you have a fort? No. No. It doesn't look like it. I think so. No, I put <laughs> mine in there. No. So it's four to one right now, and no, you have a squadron in there, do you? Oh, no, you didn't. Where'd you put that squadron? Oh, you put it, it in the it, Caribbean. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's four So you won by one. three. So three. So I get a victory Oof. point and a conquest point, and you get a treaty point. Okay. So I get a... Uh, Just squeak that out. conquest oh. point. Now, where am I going to conquer here? Um, so I have to damage... I can damage two forts. I'm going to maybe take uh, Quebec and Montreal. So you see the dotted lines, eh? Those are the conquest lines. Yes. So, yeah. Now you get to damage my fort, though. So uh, let me grab the marker from over here. Uh, where is it here? Do I damage one or two? Uh, well, I've only I only own one. I think mm. in the in the region. I don't think you can damage. I don't think you like the damage adds up as far as I'm aware. Okay. Um, well, you've got one here, and you got aren't these forts the squares? Uh, no, those are territories. The forts oh, okay. are the the, uh, the hex, the hexes, and so I got that fort up in uh, there. So it it'll be damaged, which means you can actually take it over uh, on your turn if you want. Like you can okay. spend military points. It's the only time you can swap uh, forts. I can pay to repair it, but um, but you can actually take it over. So there's an opportunity for you there. Okay. Um, and where's the damaged fort markers? That's the only thing I'm just... Sorry, I'm just scanning for that. Um, where's the damaged fort? Do you see that? The damaged fort markers anywhere? Um, no. I did see them earlier. I just can't see them right now. No. Um, is there anything... Yeah, because there should be, and I can't just, oh, hang on, I think I know where it is. Uh, it should be on the board, I think. Somewhere. Damage forts over here, by yes, your. Yes, there, I knew I, I, yeah, so drag it over and put it on the fort. It has been damaged. Okay. So in order to take over that, part, that fort, you can pay five um, military points, and I can pay three and repair it, but you can pay five and... Now you can't get. You have to move through and get to a, a, a neighboring territory. You can't just like take it over from wherever. Mm, but, mm. Uh, but I can pay three to fix it, and then it's it's protect. It's fine. So okay, it's kind of an interest, in, interesting idea. I like that that mechanic. So what do we yeah. got? The final, the Jacobite Rebellion. I'm so done here. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. Now did I did I give you a debt? I'm pretty sure I gave you a debt on your. Uh, I'm pretty sure I gave you a debt. Do you remember how much debt you De Villa. had? Because um, I'm just no. looking at your debt, and it's three. You did you spend much debt? Mm, a little bit. Not. I think I spent. I don't know, two or three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the reason I'm asking, I'm just wondering. Um, let me you can give me. You did click on debt before once, but maybe was there a second debt? Yeah, I'm just seeing. Maybe it didn't actually. Oh no, it does work. Okay. All right. Because you should have at least. Did you have? To, uh, let's see if we can scan in the uh, in the text box here, and we'll see. Um, I think I only took on two debt that game, that round. Yeah, but it, each one of my uh, tiles is at a debt, so you should have at least three debt. No, I think I have four then. Okay, so I must have have forgotten to press it once. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So yeah, so four debt. Okay. We'll say that's uh, that's fair, and you and your Jacobites. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm at a plus four. four sorry, four plus, plus three. Yes. Yeah, so plus you have, three. You have yes. Yeah, so you have four on my one. Okay. Style. Uh, I do not have so style. I actually have style. That's Jonathan Swift. So that's oh. at two. That at four to two. Dutch Republic. You have that. I have uh, both uh, one Dutch Republic. So that's. Uh, three, so four to three. Uh, Ireland and Scotland. So you have Ireland, so that's one. And there's no conflict markers. So uh, I I won by two so then. Five three, yes. 
So you get a victory point. Okay. Whew. That was, I got off easy, I think, there. Yeah. All right. So. I was hoping to have done better there. Yes. So it's actually slightly in my favor, 13 victory points. <clears throat> so it's, uh, but hovering around the middle. And yeah. uh, we are done the first round. So I was thinking we could end it here. Good spot. And uh, good spot to to end. And so, what are your what are your thoughts on uh, how things are going for you so far in the game? Oh, I I terribly misplayed the uh, the Europe yeah. scoring. I I should have uh, realized that plus two that you needed to win by two to get those three VPs because I could have I could have yes. affected that. Oh, actually, I had Scotland. So you you did win, but just by one. So in, uh, okay, in Jacobite, so that's fine. That's okay. that's still good. You still get the victory point for that. Yeah, I think but, I think if I play that differently, then we're looking at uh, I'm pretty much I'm up by just a smidge, and so, or yes. it's or it's yeah, it would have been three less for you to, to have had there. So yeah, so, I think that's yeah. about my only. I, that's a big misstep of for me so far. But uh, yeah. you seem to have. It feels like you have the map in hand. Really, I don't. Like I just feel like you've got the jump on me in the Car in the Caribbean. You've got the jump on me in India. Like I do not. And then you have actually, you know what? Yeah, maybe it's more. I have the south and you have the north right now. Yeah, like I've, I'm fairly happy with where I'm at, in North America and Europe. Like I feel like I've, I'm moving into a, a kind of a power position there. But man, it yeah. is not. It's not going to be easy. I'm gonna really. I have to get my squadrons in there, and I need to start fighting, uh, fighting for territory. Uh, yes yes yeah like and and uh, even for the because the squadrons are so expensive you have to spend four military just to just to get them and, oh jeez uh, that's a oh, lot now you have yeah. five treaty points and i have three treaty points going into the next round so i have a and fair bit of uh yeah so, some some revenue to spend will be good yes yes yeah, so that'll be <laughs> that'll be interesting helpful <laughs> so all right. Well, thanks so much for uh, for watching. Um, this has yes, been and our... stay tuned for round two. Yes, and uh, we'll look forward to chatting with you next time here on Legendary Tactics.